Hey everyone, today we got how intermittent fasting helped treat my alopecia areata and regrow my hair. Now, intermittent fasting is all the rage today in the health and wellness circle, but does it deserve all the credit that it's getting? One thing is for certain, intermittent fasting definitely helped Yoma alopecia areata. Here's how. So first, let's explain what intermittent fasting is and why we should do it. Intermittent fasting is just eating in a specific time frame every day. Most people do their window between six and eight hours every day. So for me, what I like to do is start eating at 10 a.m., finish at 6 p.m. Sometimes I'll shift this earlier, so say I'll have breakfast at 8 a.m. and I'll eat dinner at 4 p.m. Whatever it is, I keep my window about eight hours long. And then it's a 16 hour fast for the rest of the day. The important part of fasting is that we weren't meant to eat all day, every day. It throws off our circadian rhythm and we're just bombarding ourselves with extra calories that we don't actually need. Our ancestors, they evolved by fasting and feasting. They would kill a buffalo and they'd have to eat the whole buffalo right then and there because no refrigerators. They would have to survive off that buffalo for a couple days or maybe even a week or so before they got a solid buffalo meal again. It's easier to stick with than a radical diet change because you don't have to restrict what you eat, just when you eat. Now, for all of my AIP elimination dieters out there, we're restricting what we eat and when we eat, so it's a little bit different, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to stick with. Now, the shorter the feeding window, the better. That's because you're giving your body more time to digest. Now, you do have to make sure you're getting in enough calories in that window, so make sure you're eating enough, especially for my AIP elimination dieters. Sometimes the food that we're eating, we're eating lots of vegetables, so they're low in calories. So you might need to eat an extra meal, maybe eat every two hours or so, eat four meals to really get in those calories. But we weren't meant to be digesting food all day, every day. The big thing here, especially for people who are suffering from autoimmune diseases, is to give your stomach enough time to digest the food. Now I would recommend skipping breakfast or pushing breakfast back a little bit. That's why I used to start uh, at 10 a.m., sometimes I still do, because that extra laser focus in the morning is what really helps. Because your body doesn't have to digest food, it doesn't have to waste any energy doing so. So it has more energy to give towards other tasks. You have extra energy. Instead of digesting food like you normally do, it's going all to your brain so you can focus on the task at hand much, much better. What's better? Do you want to be a lion who just had a huge meal and you're on the verge of a carb nap? Or do you want to be a starving lion chasing and stalking your prey with laser-like focus? I would choose the latter. And plus, if you're, if you're trying to lose weight, intermittent fasting is a great, great thing for that. Because when you're in a fed state, when after you just ate, your body will stay in a fed state for three to five hours. Your insulin levels are higher then, so your body can't burn the calories. Now, when you're in a fasted state, especially if you work out, in a fasted state. Your insulin levels are lower, so your body can use that fat as energy and burn the fat. That is why fasting, especially when you work out fasted first thing in the morning, can be such a great tool for weight loss. And perhaps the best reason for intermittent fasting uh, for autoimmune disease sufferers is autophagy. This is what happens after you're fasting for 24 hours, this process called autophagy starts, which means your body is essentially renovating your cells. It's kicking out all the bad damaged cells and it's replenishing them with new healthy cells. So this is really important if you have an autoimmune disease. Now I only recommend that doing more than a 24 hour fast, like probably about once a month. And if you're doing any longer than that, you need to be seeing a doctor just in case. This is why I recommend a 16 hour fast every day and then just one day a month do it a longer 24 hour fast for autophagy to start and for you to renovate your cells. So take all the bad ones out, bring some new ones in. And fasting really, you know, it's it's all a mental game. We can go so much longer without food than we think. Uh, a pro tip is just to keep water by your sides at all times. So if you're feeling hungry, take a sip of water, guarantee you you'll feel much less hungry. If you're watching this, you most likely haven't experienced true hunger and what that feels like, but when you fast for long periods of time, then you start to understand, okay, I can go 12 hours without food. I can go a full day without food and I'll be fine. It's really just a mental game and guys, I'm telling you, once you do it once, your world opens up because there's so much power in not having to eat. That's it, that's how intermittent fasting helped me heal my alopecia areata. So that's it for today. If you 
thought this was awesome. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys, have a great day.